Hi, I'm Bill Riddle with Around the Court, Around the World. Up next is Frank Giampaolo, international tennis coach and best-selling author. All right, we're back here, Around the Court, Around the World. I got my buddy Frank Giampaolo here, and we're here in Nashville because there's a coaches conference going on back there behind us. And we're lucky enough to have Frank here. We're going to ask him five questions with Frank Giampaolo. So, Frank, first off, tell me who was most important in your uh, tennis coaching career and, and kind of why. Well, my mentor was Vic Braden. I love the humor, and I love the uh, sports psychology, and all the uh, high-speed videos. So it was a, it was a win-win for me. Big impact on your life as a coach and maybe as a player. Yeah, both. Especially as a coach, though. I got to say, I, I love the humor and the sports science. Cool. All right, Frank. So uh, one of the things we do here with five questions is we talk about some off-the-wall stuff. So, so when you eat an Oreo cookie, do you eat the whole thing, or do you break it open and start from the inside out? Well, it depends. On, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I usually do the break apart. Uh, Mondays and Wednesdays are more of a looking kind of a you, you philosophy. Go, you, okay, because yeah. we both like Oreo cookies, and we've yeah. discussed that before. Weekends are the dip, the ones that are dipped. You got you to dip it in the milk? You got to dip it. You got to dip on weekends. Good. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, so tell me about your first tennis racket. Do you remember it? I do. I do. It was called the Headmaster. It was a aluminum. Awesome racket. Blue throat. I do remember a funny story, though. I... Uh, I lost a match, never wanted to play again. Right. I put it on the railroad tracks and watched the train run it over. True story. True story. True story. Wow. The old head. When when was this racket? Uh, when this did you get your first one? Probably 1980, I think. Okay. Yeah. I remember the Aluminum. old head racket. Aluminum. Aluminum. That was after the wood, but before the graphite. Yeah. I had to play with it for six months until I could <laughs> mow enough yards to buy a new one. It was like square after the train hit it. You hear that, kids? You yeah. had to mow lawns to buy your first racket. Yeah, don't tell anybody that story. <laughs> All right, Frank, so tell us about your most memorable moment as a tennis coach. Wow, as a tennis coach. I think for me, it's being a, a coach and a parent when, uh, when my daughter got to play the adult U.S. Open at 15. And uh, she started at 10, and she was really into it, and uh, a proud moment for a dad. Right, right, right at that moment, we decided, okay, we, we kind of reached my dream, then the rest was up to her. So so, a, so you're sitting there watching that first match. Are you, which mode are you in? Are you in dad mode or coach mode? Or are they the same? For me, they were the same, but uh, I, I think it was probably dad, dad mode. Um, you know, we, we weren't too high strung as... As tennis people were concerned, so right. we were kind of chill about it. And uh, you're a pretty laid back guy. Yeah, and you know, for me, it's all about de-stressing kids. And the more we de-stress the, the the whole atmosphere, the better. So we just had fun with it. Good deal. Well, you know, you talk about fun, and and when when a, a parent has got a, a tennis playing kid, uh, son or daughter, you know, what's one of the things they maybe need to look for in a tennis coach? Well. I think it depends on the, the level and the growth development schedule of the child, how mature the child is. And, you know, at first it's all about proximity and cost. Right. But then you want to look at things like um, what type of, of, of style is the player? What type of style would be a good matchup as a coach? Do you need a mental, emotional coach, stroke mechanical coach, off-court, tennis-specific trainer? Right. These are all components, so depending on the needs of the kid. Right. Yeah. Well, here's your, here's your next question, though. Um, are you more of a heavy metal rock guy or are you more like classical rock or southern rock? Because I know you're into music. You do, a little, music. Writing, you do a little writing. I, you, yeah, you know I do. some of my buddies here in Nashville. Yeah. So uh, tell me about your music style. Well, I like the uh, I like country rock, really. I've always been back when I was a kid. It was Eagles. Right. Back in the day. So to me, that style has always kind of been my, my main style. So I, I'm into that, you know, country rock for Maybe sure. Maybe a little Almond Brothers. Like that for got, sure. Got love. Yeah, yeah. Little Charlie Daniels. Kind of love all of it, you know. Okay. Except rap. I never got into the rap. Too Could much. get into rap. I don't know why. No, no Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Out there, out there in the LBC, right? Well, I could do it. Oh, I, mean, okay. I could rap if I had to. Oh, okay. But yeah. <laughs> all right. So last question. We're gonna we're gonna leave everybody with this. So, what was your favorite player of all time on tour, man or woman, and maybe why? You know, my favorite, I think, had to have been Johnny Mack. Yeah. He brought me into the game with all the antics, and uh, it wasn't because of the pretty strokes, right? but I think it was the, the drama and trauma that he created when he played. It just pulled me in. I thought it was so, it was so cool that he was such a nut, and uh, it got me to like the game, so I take my head off to him. Thank you, Johnny Mac. So, so do you, did you have one of those posters that I had that was Johnny Mac walking down the street with the, with the coat on? He's like in New York. Oh, like the Rebel? The, class, the classic Rebel. 
I didn't have that one, but I had the one with the, the nude chick with the racket with okay. her, her butt sticking out. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. I had that one on my wall. Well, oh, Italian. Yeah, <laughs> well, we've had five questions. Frank Giampaolo, uh, we want to make sure you guys stick around because we have some more stuff coming soon. Frank, thanks so much for being here with thanks, us Bill. today. Five questions, Frank Giampaolo.